what's up you guys this is Phoenix Rise Again Vintage here back with another video and welcome to part two of you know Beyond Cures or Brandon's you know personal collection amazing collection man this dude's killing it um, again if you guys didn't watch the first video go check it out uh, he's showing off the personal collection in that video and today we're taking a look at some of his personal collection but also his stash um, as we you know mentioned in the previous video he, he likes to stash a lot of things that he thinks either, you know, good trade bait, things that he can, you know, maybe wear in the future, or just something that he thinks is really cool that maybe go up in value, you know, just things that he thinks is really awesome. So I'm really excited to see this collection of, you know, his stash stuff and, um, again, some of his personal because he's not done, man. This guy has a lot of t-shirts and uh, just a lot of bangers, a lot of stuff I'm into, so you know I'm having a blast and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, so, man, let's get into this part two video. This is Brandon from Beyond Cured. All right, you guys, welcome back to part two of the Stay at Home Collection Series with the homie Brandon or Beyond Cured, man. You know, you had so many t-shirts, dude, we had to do another part, man. So, um, you know, I'm excited. Is, yeah, man, I'm glad to have you on again. Um, we're, it looks like, you know, from what you were showing me yesterday, we're, we're diving deep into, some, you know, some nice uh, promo tees, of course, and uh, I can't wait yeah. to see it. So, uh, man, let's let's get back into it. Yeah, so like ending part one, everything I've showed so far has been like personal stuff. Uh, but getting like into this stuff, it's more of like my stash, mm -hmm. kind of like stuff I sell, trade, and kind of rotate into my personal. But to start it off, got a uh, Britney Spears nice. wrap tee. So, oops, I did it again. I like these wrap tees because they're not like super pricey. Um, so I can afford these ones yeah <laughs> and man britney spears was like right around my era so i had to grab that one I had a huge crush on her growing up who did it that back is so sick too just the, the oops i did it again on the yeah on the so crazy. Just super classic we'll keep it on the rap tea vibe this is actually one of my favorite teas this is a m m eight mile it's like it's like a promo but it's like a rap tea style yeah oh, you lose yourself on the back oh, and all the characters are on it <laughs> Yeah, super sick. I got this from 1980-something Co. when he first dropped his website nice. and had to snag this one. Oh. Yeah, one of my favorites. This one took me a while to track down. Yeah. Probably my favorite Kiss T value aside. I know it, it is really valuable, but just the colors on it, the graphics on it, just perfect. Such a sick t-shirt whenever I see it, man. And then for you being, you know, a big kiss collector, that had to be a grill for you. It was at the top of the charts. Um, I remember not even knowing much about, like, all the kiss shirts and then just seeing this one. Yeah. And just being mind blown. I was just like, the colors and just everything just pops. It's Such awesome. a sick piece. There's that one. Next one. Big Vader head. So yeah, definitely a big, big addition to my Star Wars collection is this one here. Got this for a pretty good deal off somebody on Instagram. He actually hit me up and's like, "Hey, I see you're collecting a lot of Star Wars. Are you missing this one?" And that stuff, when people do that stuff, it's just like yeah. you can't thank them enough. It's like you don't have to do anything, and they're just coming to you. No, I was yeah, I need that. Like that's it's such a cool thing, and. Uh... Hopefully, you know, with these videos, you get more people hitting you up and like, hey, I got this in the collection. And For sure. Uh, it's always cool to see. I get people hit me up, like, because I mainly collect wrestling tees. So I get people hit me up like, hey, you know, see you collect wrestling tees. Like, it's just a good feeling because it's like, yo, they're seeing like, yo, this is what I collect. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. And it's just like networking that way. Is so, I've always liked that. Yeah, for sure. Next one is a, a big mullet tee, I would say. So almost like a blank front. It mm -hmm. just says over in a tiny little font on the front. I don't know if you've seen this, T. <laughs> and the back is just a huge Comedy Damn. Central Damn. spell out. Super sick. It's on a Fruit of the Loom. That's crazy. It's like I've a never... 33 length. It's super long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty dope one. They hem that one because I, I know people that do hem their t-shirts and stuff, but that one's because the, the logo's all the way on the back. Is... I don't know if you'd be able to exactly if i if i got rid of it i'm getting rid of some of the yeah i'm getting rid of some of the font <laughs> That's a sick man. what's your favorite uh comedy central show you got one uh dave Chappelle or south park for sure hands down uh, key and peel made a pretty good run uh, they did 
Yeah, yeah I, I like their stuff too. Another one of those mullet tees. This one is the PlayStation promo. It just says your note on the front. Has the uh, PlayStation hit on the sleeve. And then one of the best back hits in the game. Oh, man, that's a girl right there. Yeah, I got this in a trade from the homie. His name's Beastead Vintage. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a newer page, but once he grabbed this, I said, man, if you ever let that go, make sure it goes to me. I'll make it worth your while. And <laughs> I traded him some movie promos and some snack teas, and we made it work. He hooked it up. You just don't see it. I mean, you see it, but you don't see it. It's like a weird T-shirt. Like in, when it's it, when people show it, it's not for sale. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not something that's like ever for sale too often. And uh, man, just so many great games on the PlayStation One I and mean, Crash Bandicoot. You know, Twist. I mean, look at all the. You know, it's just all yeah, all the characters on the back. And for the longest time, I didn't know that Paul from Tekken was at the very bottom with his mohawk. Oh, it's pretty wow. awesome, yeah. I just always look at all these characters, and I'm seeing a new one. Like every time I look at it, I feel like <laughs> that's kind of t-shirts. You know, you learn something on it every day. For sure. This next one uh, is different. It's a Pulp Fiction bootleg movie promo. It's not the one that you see. The colors are a little different. Yeah. Um, and then the back hit is different. Oh, okay. So it's not like the original Winterland tag. There's no tag on this one. But still pretty dope to you. It's a size large. I wish it was XL. Yeah, for sure. I like that one a lot, actually. I mean, that back hit is just so... Yeah, it's, it's cool. Because I've seen this back hit on the front of the tee. Yeah. Uh, not but old. To have a cool little bootleg. It's, not, it's kind of rap tee style, I would guess. <clears throat> uh, all right. Ooh, this next one's dope. Ooh. Boba Fett, big yeah. print. One of my favorite Star Wars characters. Even though he's barely in it, you would think he'd be in it more, <laughs> but he's just such a cool character. Yeah. That one's pretty sick. I got this from the same guy I got the Vader from. He yeah, had all they, these like he had all these big print changes, Star Wars pieces and it always seemed like they print the Star Wars on there too, like on changes tags. Yeah, they do. A lot of Star Wars pieces on there. All right, getting into Disney now. A couple get Disney pieces coming up. Pocahontas. And the details on this one, I hope the camera can pick it up because it's super nice. Like the colors, like a cream. It's dead stock with tags still. That Disney's it. Wow. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Pocahontas pieces. I think I only have two or three. But the colors on this one just, just too just dope. That fade from that cream to that blue is just so sick. Like yeah, and to have every character on it too from the movie, those ones always just hit a little bit harder rather than just yeah. like one character. All right. Oh, next one. Whew, they're coming at you, three D. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Yeah. Probably will never sell this one. I've been offered quite a bit of cash for it. I just can't let it go. There's a Toy Story oh. hit on the sleeve. No back hit, but... I mean, the front graphic does enough, you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't need the, the back. That's crazy. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's like, like... Yeah, go ahead. I uh, was saying I love those t-shirts that like just come at you, you know what I mean? Like with the graphics and everything, and that's for sure like one of them. Yeah, and with the whole Disney wave, I feel like those are just going to keep skyrocketing and if you don't grab them now you're gonna pay three three hundred bucks for a toy story shirt you know oh for sure like i got a homie i met like last year uh d street vintage oh yeah um, he yeah like i sold him a couple mickey tees i just found and like i started like following it you know like i saw him actually through round two's uh youtube channel and then i start i hit him up and then we just started talking from there which is pretty cool but man like if you look at his stuff like he has some like wild and like this is all Disney stuff that's all about to shoot up. So, like, man, he's it's just like he's, you, man. You have Disney stuff that's about to... He did it right, though. The D Street Vintage is one of my favorite pages. Just to see shirts you've never seen, and then you're like, ooh, I need to dig in deeper into that one. Ooh, yeah. I need to dig in deeper yeah. into that one. <laughs> all right, this is probably my favorite Disney tee, value aside. I know I, have, I showed some other ones in part one, but there's something just about this shirt. Oh. 
has every character on it. The colors is like a cream. And man, I just I really love the way it fits. It's on a Hanes Hanes Beefy, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Just a great it's so sick, though, to see it with the characters on there and just like the colors, yeah, completely. There's something about like a white t shirt and then you have like those colors that pop on there too. Like it's so sick. Yeah. Like you're saying, yeah, I think you said that yesterday too with the um I had a shirt that was black, but if it was white, the graphic would just pop so much more. Yeah. yeah. It's another a another uh, local hometown tee. It's on a nutmeg. Just the Seahawks. It's got a dope embroidery on the on the center there. Nutmeg but, always kills it with, with those uh, embroidered like pieces and t-shirts. Like I don't know why they've always been like, really good with that. Yeah, Nutmeg's probably my favorite when it comes to the sports stuff. Salem does a pretty good job, too. Uh, yeah, Magic yeah. Johnson, of course, too, but Nutmeg does quality, quality stuff. Yeah. Right. Next one is a Jimi Hendrix all over print on a Winterland tag. And it's cool on this one because he's just doing so many different things and yeah. all the poses. This is one of the first band tees I actually got on eBay. Sniped this one. I didn't know what it was worth. I just bought it just because I liked it. I was still kind of new. Yeah. I didn't even really care about value at that point. I was just going it's for fine. graphics that I liked. Yeah. That's a t-shirt where you see, like, you know, probably different things you didn't notice on it every, you know, time you wear it or every time you see it. So, pretty Big cool. time. Yeah, it's a 96 single stitch. Next one was a gift from my girlfriend. She got this thrifting down in Cali. Oh. Energizer bunny. The colors on this one are just perfect. Back hit. The back hit, I love it. And who doesn't remember the Energizer commercials growing up? So, really? <laughs> super sick. I don't know why, but about, you know, the double-sided t-shirts where, like, one end is, like, you know, just the back and the other side is it breaking out of the front? Like, yeah, it was my favorite. I don't know why. It's so sick. And, a, and a lot of sh brands do it. I thought it was just like a Looney Tunes kind of thing, but yeah, a lot of shirts do it, and I think it's really dope. Oh, for sure. All right, so that's everything I have on hangers, kind of like my rotation. So that was basically like my rotation there. Um, now the rest of the stuff is kind of. Like my my trade and my sales, and if if I try it on and it fits really good, then it gets into the rotation. Yeah. So first one is a 1980s nice. smiley face with the headshot. I'm sure, you've seen this one. Such a sick T-shirt, though. I don't like. It's such a simple graphic, but again, like one of those two that <laughs> tells the story on each side. Like. <laughs> yeah, that blowout's super dope. And it's dead stock with, ta uh, not with tags, but it's at the 80s Fruit of the Loom tag, super old. Nice. It's a good tee. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't sold. I actually had it up for pretty cheap one day and just, just to see if people would bite and no biters. It's a good one. It's always weird when you put up a t shirt and you're like, yeah, man, this is a good price. And then no one really, like, you know, like not that many people hit you up about it, but then you put up a t-shirt that's like, you know, a normal market price and everyone's and it's like, flies. Oh. <laughs> it's well, like you guys don't want to see it. <laughs> and that's what's kind of cool about vintage. It's not like Supreme and Bape where it's like there's a set price where it's stock stock X and eBay and there's so many floating around. You could type in even the one of the rarest box logos and there's multiple. You know what I yeah. mean? It's with these shirts, they're kind of like one of ones in that size and that condition. You can look on eBay. But is it that same size? Is it the same condition? It's it just gives you it's a hard. general idea. Yeah. yeah, that's why when I see people, and it, it is a good starting point. Like I always recommend it. Like when people starting off, like go go look at the completed eBay, uh, you know, sold listings. But at the same time, I feel like, for instance, like if you know, I like with me with wrestling tees, I would pay over on some t-shirts versus the person who's not into wrestling tees. And I'm sure it's the same with you with like promo tees and things. You know, if you're yeah. really into that that genre of t-shirts you're going to pay probably a little bit more versus the other person you know yeah and i tell my friends too like if it's sold on ebay for that price it obviously sold for a reason it's probably under market yeah you know what i mean <laughs> it's 
if blue at that price, it doesn't mean no. Oh, every shirt from here on, seventy bucks. Like no, like yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Next tee is a. Uh, it's not too old. It's from '05. It's just an M M&M and M on the XXL magazine. This one's pretty dope. I wish it fit me. It's a medium. Little M and M on the back. Love the artists on the on the front. Like the, I don't know. I'm always a suck again for like the subtle things and like the list of artists that's on that. I've seen that to you before. And yeah, yeah, like Kanye, Twista, Ludacris, Lloyd Banks. Yeah, like it's just it's sick. Yeah, that one's dope. Do you know if there's more um, of these with like different artists on them? Yeah, I haven't seen any. I've only seen that M and M one. I wish there. I'm. You gotta think there is. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, I think so. So. It's just like there's certain T-shirts like um, I've been really getting into. I have a Nas from O2, I want to say. Mm-hmm. That's a, a performance that he did at Cornell University. So I'm trying huh. to get into finding these artists like performing at college tees. Yeah. And that's the next goal. So like I feel like when you see like a kind of T-shirt, there's got to be other ones, you know. Well, it's funny. The Cornell, I just think of The Office when I hear Cornell yeah. right away. Yeah. Right off the bat. <laughs> next one's a movie tee. Really like the Ooh. graphics on this one. It's the Blair Witch Two. Yeah, it's got like this deep orangish reddish right in the middle. Really pops on the black. This one's on a giant tag. Nice. That one up. But yeah, one one of the movie promos that I have. I'll stick to the movie promos. This one's pretty cool. I had a lot of memories of this movie. <laughs> American Pie spell out. And then it as the back hit, because there's something about your first piece. <laughs> <laughs> they had a good movie. I love the soundtrack on the movie. I'm really into like Blink 182, Green Day, and things like that. So yeah, oh, like yeah, like all that music is, but it's just such a funny movie. You can't the the I like the original trilogy. Then they started getting into like some of the other stuff, and it just wasn't like my favorite. But that the original, whole band, the band one, and yeah, yeah. yeah. But that original with uh, I forgot the actors, but uh, you know, just that minute, like the original crew was really good. For sure, always be a classic. Oh yeah. Next next one's uh just a Malcolm X T. Nothing too crazy. Just a good little picture of them and good colors. Yeah. It looks brand new. I, I just had this one sitting, kind of just stashed it. For sure. I think it's the only Malcolm X T I have. I used to have the crew neck, pretty common crew neck, like the all over print one. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one I actually like a lot. I know some people don't value these tech tees that high, but I think these ones are sick. It's a Microsoft Windows. Nice. Single stitch. It's on a Hanes Beefy. Yeah, I think these ones, I love the Apple tees. I love when I just see those. No, for sure. Like, it's uh, it's cool to see because obviously technology changes so quick. So, like, to get, you know, some of those classic uh, marketing campaigns from either Apple or Windows is always so cool. For sure. All right, now we're getting into uh, the ones that I keep in, like, <laughs> plastic wrap. Well, not plastic wrap, just like a dollar dollar store bag. All right. Now after this, I have to fold all these back up. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun sometimes. <laughs> all right. First one is a Bruce Lee Dragon movie tee, brand new. Colors. Colors. The gold flake on the font. Wow. It's a really good one. It's on a Hanes. Hanes tag. And I, I just don't see. T- I don't have too many colorful shirts, just like in general with the vintage. Yeah. Everything's done black, white, or gray, and yeah. it's cool to see these '90s pieces on red. Just something different you don't see every day, for sure. For sure. Now, with these, uh, I was going to ask you. So, with these, you know, you keep them in bags and stuff. Is there a reason behind it, or is it just for easy storage? Or uh, I'd say the biggest reason is because this, where I keep everything, is yeah. too tight. <laughs> it's just so tight; I can barely even like see the graphics when I'm going through it. Yeah. Um, and then like these ones. I wouldn't say I'm trying to sell these ones, but they're kind of like I'm putting them to the side. So and literally if I see, yeah. yeah, literally stash. Yeah, for sure. Some of them I'm never going to wear. Uh, like this next one's a gift that was given to me brand new for my girl. Uh, I just really love this piece. And since it's dead stock, I don't know if I ever want to rock it. Oh. It's a Batman tee, Batman Returns, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Batman Returns. 
the graphic on this one in person is just crazy. Still has the tags. It's so sick. It's a cool tag too. It's like oh, like uh, like holographic. Yeah, holographic. Yeah. So, yeah, one of my favorite tees. That whole promo run of the of those t-shirts, like the all over prints, because I saw one with like the penguin and a few other ones, and like yep, just so good. And it's like I don't know if I was talking to you about it, but I think DC is just so underrated. Yeah, with their like, t-shirts. Yeah, when it comes to like, if that was a Iron Man tee from the '90s, that's a five hundred dollar tee. Right. But with this Batman one, it's only a hundred. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just funny. People like some DC man. I think it's just the whole Marvel universe going on today that people are so like wanting to get their t-shirts too and stuff. So. Yeah. There's some it'll good just movies. take. It'll take like another three solid DC movies and people. Be right. like, Damn, DC's actually <laughs> fire. Um, this is one that I'm trying to get more of is the Ren and Stimpy pieces. Okay. So I'm trying to get more Ren and Stimpy and more Beavis. And I kind of want some more Pinky and the Brains, too. I think those are really cool. Kind of underrated. I got to tell you, man, now, up. now's the time to do it because uh, I don't know if you heard, but they're bringing back Animaniacs. Oh, and really? And everything. Yeah, it's going to be like a Hulu exclusive. So all those pieces, it's time to start getting them and everything. You know? And the graphics, they always do them right. Like Ren, Beavis, and Pinky in the Brain, they always do dope graphics, so. Oh, for real. Not even that, it was probably not even the top 10 show for me, any of those. Yeah. Yeah, none of them, but still, just great graphics. All right. This is another one of those gifts that I got when she went out. It's another Batman. Nice. Batman Returns. This one's dead stock with tags. Back hit. Damn, like that. Oh, with the okay. Bat symbol down there. Nice. Pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, and it's that whole Batman Returns with like kind of the sketch vibe that, for the a lot of the promos that they did. Yeah. Cool. This next one is the oldest T-shirt that I own. I know a lot of people probably won't know anything about this because it's more of a, a hometown thing. It's a 1976. It's called the Green Wave. It was a nickname that was given to the Sonics back in the 70s. Okay. This shirt is extremely rare. I've never seen another one before. I mean, of course, it's from 70s. It's going to be super hard to find. Yeah. Not Nothing I can wear, but the history behind it is just pretty dope. Well, especially with them not being there anymore and just uh i feel like anything yeah especially well you know with you living in washington anything that's uh sonics is probably you know a really cool piece for you guys to have for sure and if we ever get a team <laughs> back hopefully I think you guys should man i've talked about this i'm a big nba guy so like i i feel like they're, they keep talking about vegas or like kansas city i was like dude seattle like deserves a team i don't get sure. why in the, in the first place they moved and everything but yeah, no, our fan base has been loyal to the Mariners for two decades, three decades, <laughs> and we haven't done anything in that time. So it just goes to show our fans are loyal if we just get our team back. Yeah, for sure. Next one's another one of the Marvel pieces I have. Uh, I don't have too many Marvel, but like I said, they're just really expensive. This yeah. one's pretty dope. A little Spidey hit nice. on the front. Got them on the back. I feel like this is one of those ones I would trade for like a dope movie tee or yeah. possibly sell or raffle. It's good to have those pieces too that like, you know, you, you're like, it's dope, but like I could use this to get something else. Like, uh, exactly. you know, it's, it's always, I love the Marvel comics hit too. Like the, the stuff yeah, that's stuff. probably my favorite part actually. All right. Bottom. And yeah, these Marvel tees, I don't know if they're going to keep going up. I don't know if they have the ceiling for that uh, mm. or if it's if you go that Disney movie route and the ceiling's just a little bit, you know, has some more room. Yeah. This next one is so sick. It's dead stock. I've never seen this tag before. Um, it's on an athletic tee tag. Okay. It's... Um, says Fox Sports Kids on the front. Oh. Little hit. But this back hit. Oh, Ninja Turtles, 96. 
and they're all wearing like the red mask. I guess it's from yeah, the comics. I don't know. Someone was trying to tell me that they used to all wear the same colors. Oh, really? Okay. So I'm not sure. I have to look in more into it, but I don't know why it's on a Fox Kids network. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, just love that back hit. Love the colors. They're all looking super mean in it, too. Great. You can tell that's kind of that does look like maybe that's like some art from the comics or something. So, yeah, I've been offered quite a bit for this. I just can't let it go just because I've never seen another one. That's another thing, too. If, if you have those shirts that you've just never seen before, it's really hard to like let them yeah. go. No, it is. What's like your biggest regret of selling a t shirt? Like one that you like, oh, both that you kind of regret selling. I have like two. When I was talking to my brother about that, I was like, I thought I would have more with all the shirts I've sold. Uh, but the one is on, it's on my page. It's an all over print alien tee. I sold it to RS Vintage for, I think it was a really good price. Just crazy, like black and white. And then aliens got like this green dripping from his face. Um, and then I sold a Kermit the Frog parody with Forrest Gump. Okay. He's just like sitting on the bench and it's like the oh, Forrest yeah. Gump. Okay. Yeah, I, I no. missed that one. I shouldn't have sold that. But at least I sold it to my brother. So yeah. if I ever <laughs> got to go get it, we can always talk. All right, next one. Another mullet tea. This one says A Christmas Carol, Disney. I love the back hit on this one because I'm a huge Jim Carrey fan. Nice. Yeah. Christmas Carol. Super dope details and like his nose. He looks all old. This one's sick. The animation of that movie was like realistic as hell. Like they, they really killed it on there. And uh, Definitely. Jim carries the gold. Have you noticed? Um, I've talked with a couple friends about it. Have you noticed the price of mask tees just like shoot up? Like they're like. Tell me about it. Five hundred, six hundred dollars. Seven hundred, eight hundred, really? and like with ease. It's not yeah. like it's like when it's posted. I'm like, hey, what's high offer right now? Six fifty. I'm like, what? More than a rat tee? Like, <laughs> yeah. Years. And it that is a great movie. But for me, it's not even close to top 10 or like. Yeah, I don't like, I, I don't get when this happened. Like, it's, it's so weird. Yeah, it's like, the graphics, I guess. Like, it's probably more so the graphics than the movies, I would say. Yeah, like, it's dope graphics. But even then, man, like, you look at some of the, uh, like, the higher price items, like, like, it's more than, like, some of the anime tees, like an Akira tee. Like, you can get right. Akira tee cheaper right now than you can a Mac. Right. It's so weird, like. And yeah, I've I've never I've never I don't watch anime, so I've never understood the Akira stuff. But man, some <laughs> of the prices on those too, just crazy. Yeah. And the and uh, some of the obscure artists like Butthole Surfers and Sonic Youth and Bjork and all those artists. Yeah. Bjork's actually pretty decent. I listened to some of her stuff. I was like, what is the hype with her? Like, I love the graphics <laughs> on her shirts. She's super beautiful on the front. Yeah. And I had to listen to the music. And it's actually not bad. No, it's not. Yeah, there's some of those people I'm just like, I don't get why. And like, it's just the same thing. People, you know, probably don't get why certain prices of t-shirts we like are up there. So yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's to each their own, I guess. Exactly. Next one is a TVT. One of my favorite shows, actually. So it has the be groovy, uh, be very groovy on the front. And like this rainbow font. And on the back, it's just that, that 70s show. Nice. Yeah, super happy to grab this one because I got rid of my cast and crew autographed one. Yeah. So this one is, we'll make up for it for now. It's funny enough where, like, you know, looking throughout all the times, you know, I've looked for promo t shirts and everything. Like, you were the first person, man, I saw a that 70 promo t shirt. Like, I, I just never had seen it. Like, maybe I wasn't really? looking hard enough, but, like, it's such a good show. And, like, yeah. to see some promo tees is pretty sick. So now I'm going to have to be on the hunt. I was literally just watching it last night. I'm still on the hunt for the original Office promo tee, where it's oh. like Michael Scott and like the whole crew's behind him, and he's like yeah. holding his coffee cup. Oh man! That's the uh, Scrubs too. I don't know if you're a big. Oh, fan. Scrubs would be sick. I didn't even think oh. about Scrubs tee. The homie uh, Michigan Fritz is really big into Scrubs and everything. He's got, he's even got the uh, the sign or signs of the Scrubs Nikes. It's a blazer. It's like a low uh. blazer. Yeah, like he's got a bun. But he has this promo T-shirt that's the full. It's probably from season one just the full cast and it just said scrubs like across the chest and i'm like that's that's the one i need man like, and those are the ones that are just gonna keep going up and up you know what I'm saying? this one i've seen quite a bit but i've never seen it tie-dyed so i thought it was pretty cool oh, wow. 
to get the tie-dyed one. I think this was self-tie-dyed by the homie Secondhand Seattle. Nice. I bought so many pieces off him. You can see the local homie. Love the back hit on this one. It's like that tie dyed it hits so much, you know, it's so different. It does. I thought I wasn't going to like it, and then I saw it in person. He did a really good <laughs> job with the tie-dye. Looks like a marble, marble yeah. table. That's some skill, too, because it's pretty hard to – I've tried. Like, I can do normal tie-dye, but that marble or anything, like, other than the normal, like, spin-around tie-dye is pretty hard. Yeah. To I've never tried it before, but I have watched, like, tutorial videos. What I need to learn is how to fix dry rot teeth. Have you ever done that? I haven't. I've tried like really hard. I've had one dry rot experience and it was on a bull's tee. It was like a three peak tee, like nothing crazy. But I go back for the homies who like buy the wrap tees because if you buy it yeah. off the market, there's no like, there's it's no good. winning that case. Like I've had homies lose cases because a dry rot tee, they said it was brand new and yeah. like they, they lost the case. And I'm like, man, like dry rot's just, and I know people, it's, it sucks, but like, yeah, if there's a, it's just something out there that you can fix dry rot tees like i've heard like so my brother was telling me because he was looking into it um you just have to get water and then add the ph drops that drop the ph in the shirt and let it soak overnight so i'm gonna try that i have one shirt i need to try it with so dry rot sucks yeah it does. this next one i've only seen it one time and i had to grab it when i saw it so big fan of this movie Big fan of this of the soundtrack. So this is just the eight mile nice. spell out, but it's the soundtrack T. Got some great artists on the back. Oh. That's pretty sick. Paid I paid a little bit for this because it's on a roots T. I don't know if you know about roots. I'm sure you do. Yeah. The quality on this shirt is so nice. It's got a little um spell out on the sleeve. Nice. But yeah, simple, but in my opinion, super rare. I've never seen this one. No, I haven't. Yeah, and then just the uh, the list of artists on there. And then, again, like, I don't know why I'm a sucker for, like, the in-stores or, like, the coming soon. The thing. Like, it's just so, yeah, like, those are so It cool. is. It is. And, and, like, Gangstar, Obi Trice, like, <laughs> Nas, D12. Just crazy. All right. So this next one, I've had quite a bit of stuff from this movie but this is the only piece i ended up keeping uh, it's a wizard of oz nice. i love the detail in this one it's on a giant tag really good colors who doesn't love wizard of oz it's such, a such a good movie i still have friends that haven't seen it that are my age i'm just like <laughs> get with get with the program you got to go back and watch your history that one's a good one. So this is one of the shirts that I regretted selling. So I was on a mission to get it back. I'm not letting this one go. I'm actually looking for a double up if I can find it. Oh, Pocahontas movie promo from 95. Just perfect colors on this one. Jeez. Such a good scene too when she's singing. And then the back hit. Look at that back. Yeah, it's a good shirt. Really good shirt. I, I sold it to uh, Rowdy Roots. Okay, yeah, yeah. He wanted it as a personal when he saw when I posted it. And I've always liked him. So I was like, yeah, man, I got you. And when I sold it, I was like, oh, I need a book honesty. <laughs> I didn't have the one. This was the only one I had at the time. And yeah, yeah so I had to track it down again. I feel like the, the tracking it down is harder because, like, you really want it so then if you can't find it like super quick then it's like man like that, that happens with me so uh with some t-shirts for sure especially with like you you look for 2x too i'm sure that's super hard like if you yeah. like, go over shirt you're like dude i'm not gonna see that like yeah. that's gone yeah it's pretty tough like i've sold some t-shirts especially this year just like um at the store and like trying to do things and yeah like i have a like hardy boys from wrestling like for yeah. instance, that's a hard like t-shirt to find. I shouldn't have sold it, but I did, and then now I'm like I can't find it. Like it's it's a it's a wrap. Like I'll have to like maybe five years from now find it or something. I haven't even started dabbling into the wrestling tees, and I watched wrestling growing up quite a bit as a kid, and I think 
I don't know. I like Booker T. I don't know. A lot of people don't like Booker T, but he was honestly like my favorite wrestler growing up. Of course, Stone Cold and The Rock and Undertaker and those guys. But Booker T for me was just yeah, like Booker super T, dope. Man, <laughs> yeah, no, the yeah, Rooney. All those prices are shooting up, and that's what's uh, it's pretty interesting to see because like I've been collecting wrestling tees for a while, and like there was a point of time where they were all like. Forty dollars, thirty dollars, twenty. Like right. you can get some really good T-shirts for around that price range, right? And right. now, like it's just like the simplest T-shirt goes for so much. It's it's crazy to see. I know we've talked about like prices shooting up, but like it's it's pretty crazy to see the market of what people are into now. And it's cool to see because it's cool to talk with other people who are into it. So, and what I, I was telling my brother one time is what's cool to see is that like. A Grail wrestling tee is on par with like a Grail movie tee, which is on par with like a Grail rap tee. So it's like yeah. they're all kind of valued the same, which is cool. It's not like there's one brand of tees that's just above all. Yeah, like, and that's cool. Yeah. They all have those high tier pieces. This one is one of my, I think it's my favorite Marvel tee actually. So it's just a, I don't know if you can see it. It just says combos. I don't know if you remember the snack combos. Yeah. But the back hit on this one is just beautiful. So it's Combo <laughs> Man. So Combo Man's like a combination of all different Marvel characters that was made by Marvel for the brand Combos. <laughs> it's got like Hulk on there, Iron Man, Magneto, um, Human Torch, oh. Captain America. All Combo these different pieces Man. make them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got this from uh, Menu Items. He's the guy that runs Nike Tees are the shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy, man. Honestly, one of my favorite people to talk to, to do business with. So if you guys are not checking him out, highly recommend it. Such a good grip. You know, and I remember when Nike Tees are the shit, like, started. And then I I noticed that the pictures were the same. I didn't honestly at first know that it was the same guy. That yeah. Pages, and I was like, wait a minute. And then I started putting it together. I was like, dude, he has really good stuff. His curation is amazing. And just a, a very knowledgeable guy. He loves the community, too. So shout out to him, for sure. Yeah, and, and like when we talk about business, I hate some people are always like, offer me. Offer yeah. me. I don't yeah. do that. I'll offer you five bucks, and then you counter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just tell me what your ballpark is, and then we can kind of go from there so we don't waste each other's time. And he's really yeah. like, I'm looking for 80. If you're looking to bundle, I'll do 60 on this one. Like That's the kind of stuff that I look for when it comes to business. Oh, for sure. This next one, I've been offered quite a bit. I have seen this one, but I just can't let it go. Like, this one just holds so much nostalgia for me. Yeah. The Goosebumps, 95, single. I know it's a double, actually. I thought this was single. But good colors. And, man, Goosebumps just was actually, like, the first thing that scared me as a kid. I can't even lie. The books. The dummy, bro. Come on now. The <laughs> dummy, yeah. Like, you <laughs> didn't have a couple nightmares about that dummy. Man, that's that's one of the t-shirts I regret selling. I had that one. I sold it to a homie local here. It's just because you can't find Goosebumps tees in like an XL. An adult size. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine some of the ones that they had, especially like the Night the Living Dummy. There's the One Day at Horror Land. Like a lot of these ones. Uh, they the spin, Barbecue like, Pit one. Oh, yes. Like a lot of them are <laughs> like size smalls. I'm like, man, like right now I wish I was like tiny. Like. <laughs> yeah, those are probably... The most nostalgic book for me growing up would be that and Holes, honestly. Those oh, are the yeah. two books like that just click. And you get the Holes promo fee, man. <laughs> Woo! I would love that. Stanley Up, Upkiss, Upkiss, Stanley Upkiss. No, that's. Am I thinking that's like Liar Liar? What's the name of uh, Holes? It's no it's Stanley. I forgot his last name though, but um, it's Stanley and then the Zero Dude. Yilnat. Yilnat. Yeah. It's yeah, backwards. Yeah. Yep. Stanley <laughs> Ipkiss, I think, from Liar Liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one is uh, my favorite MC Escher shirt. It's actually one that actually fits me. Nice. Extra large. Just has a whole bunch of his iconic drawings on it. And, like, I knew about these drawings as a kid, but I never knew who MC Escher was. I've always just seen these, like, optical illusion style mm. drawings, and I always thought they were cool, but then to find out who the guy was and that he makes these on t-shirts is just super dope oh really and it's cool to see um a lot of the t-shirts you see aren't the same too like you see like those all over prints but they're not exactly in the same placement and it's really yep. cool it's really cool to see those for sure 
I've seen some really, really cool, like, all over prints on Instagram. I'm like, damn, where you guys find that? Because I've never right. seen them unless I see them on Instagram. This next one is super big grail for me. Probably one of the most played video games as a kid for me. So, StarCraft. StarCraft. Love the front hit. Super simple. And I have seen a, a few different versions of this tee, but never with this back hit. Like wow. the, the colors on this one. I got this from Tea Party LA. That's so sick. Yeah. What well, do you just stri- see often? The StarCraft. I mean, you see a lot of like the uh, the console gaming teas, but not really the other. Yeah, this was the one I need to do a shower tech stretch on. <laughs> it's a little tight. Need need to get a little bit more length out of this one, but I think it'll be fine. For sure. Ooh, this next one was actually in my top ten that I did. Mm-hmm. But with the shirts that I've been getting in, it might be kicked out, but it's still just a great tee. Dead stock with tags still. Adult XL. Jeez. The big Ash Ketchum. I was a huge Pokemon guy growing up. Played the cards. Played the games. Went went to went to sports cards places to duel against kids. Uh, did that whole thing. Kept those first edition cards now, man. Dude. I regret that's it's probably the most thing I've regretted of all time selling. Like I had all of them in yeah. great condition in my binder, sold it at a garage sale for like twenty five bucks. Right, and all those all prices now, like first edition Charizard goes for like I swear, like I think my car. Crazy. Yeah, I could sell a Charizard and get a car. <laughs> another <laughs> no, another group of T-shirts too, where you don't find adult sizes. Like that's one I've been looking for a lot, and you yep. just. Can't can't find them and it's it's and especially like some good ones too like man like that's that's a grill for sure for sure this next one i've seen this video game just skyrocket and i didn't even play this game that much i kind of got this just for trade bait or to sell so little fx hit on the front i don't know if you know what it is just by seeing that part the back hit oh so it's a Star Fox 92. Really good condition. One of the better condition ones I've seen. It's a Fine. good game, man. It's not one I played like a bunch. Star, Park, uh, Star Fox 64 and then the one on GameCube was pretty good. But um, I have seen those like skyrocket. I don't, maybe again, it's the gaming teams that are starting to go up. But yeah. No, I saw, I was watching one of the first like stash raider episodes and heat broker had a star fox tee that he sold for like seven hundred dollars like yeah i think that's just crazy i don't like i value this shirt like maybe 200 yeah but 700 bucks is just crazy for like, a character i i personally don't like that much but yeah everybody yeah, person, likes their own you, thing yeah you get the right person you can sell you know whatever dude. right nostalgia hits hard for Everybody, different characters. Next one's uh, Fruit of the Loom. One of my favorite bands. Nice. Foo Fighters piece. And I didn't know this one was super rare until I like, started looking at completed sales. And I was like, dang, like, something's, this graphic's so simple, but it's pretty rare. Which so, album for like, around the time is that from? I, it kind of looks like the first one, maybe? I don't. It's weird because it says the not. The not too terribly tour, not too terribly hard tour. Uh, huh. Doesn't say the year on this one. I'm not sure what tour this is actually. I kind of just got it for the graphic. I got it at a consignment shop, and I just love the graphic. Yeah, it's weird. There's no timestamp, no year or anything on it. All right, that's the first pile of bagged ones. Pile two. <laughs> here we go. Such a nice day here. So glad. Hey. Usually rains all the time. Next one, another fruit of the loom tag if that picks it up. Oh. The Braveheart movie Braveheart. promo. Yeah, can't go wrong with this one. Such a good movie. This type of movie that gets you motivated almost. Like, right. You see the passion. And yeah, I had to had to scoop this one. This actually came from round two. The person who got it originally 
had the round two tag on it when I got it. So I was like, oh, that's kind of dope. Have you been to uh, round two at all or any of those stores? Only once. And I think it was, I was 22, so about five years ago. And I went to the round two vintage store. I knew about vintage at that point, but I wasn't buying it then. I was buying the hype pieces. And I go in there and I'm just like, how is this shirt with holes? $200. (laughs) Like there's holes everywhere. There's stains. But when I walked in there, the nostalgia that hit me was just different than, than the hype store, than than the regular store. There's something about the vintage, even at that point for me, I was just like, "Hmm, I get it now. I get why this is working. Like these pieces are crazy. And just the little knickknacks they have all around. Yeah. So sick. No, I definitely, um, we have one that's close by now because I'm in Iowa, so I'm right by Illinois. So they have the Chicago store. And so I'm going to have to travel out there to go. And uh, it's cool to see their, you know, progress. I remember watching them just when they had the VA store, like on their YouTube yep. page, and like to see yep. them go up. And I know a lot of people are motivated and inspired by Sean and all of them. So it's really cool. Uh, Big just, time. Yeah just cool to see them grow like and just hopefully that means they're going to bring a store towards us so maybe we'll see <laughs> i feel like seattle's wide open for one that'd be so sick but who knows next one is uh reservoir dogs nice. promo tea. i know it's not the original 90s one it does have a timestamp 91 but i think a lot of the shirts just did that it's on the triple a tag yeah just a nice simple graphic such a good movie too it is. Like, so many good actors in it. Yeah. I'm still looking for, if you do ever see one, a Goodfellas promo tee mm-hmm. or a Matrix promo tee or Liar Liar. Those are the three, like, at the top of my charts right now. This one I was so happy to get because I love Seinfeld. This one's brand new with tags. Ooh. And you just never see Jerry on shirts. So it's the smallest hit and literally the most basic t-shirt. That's all you get is just Jerry on the front. But it's just cool. I saw Jerry live. Um, He came to my hometown. So I've always liked Seinfeld. Uh, Such a good show. And yeah, you don't see the the Jerry hits too often. A lot of Kramer tees. Yeah. the two I never see at all are Jerry and Elaine. And I saw mm-hmm. this one that um, I forgot, Select Stock, I think they're called, Select yeah. Stock. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they had a big Elaine piece. It was like 150 And then the, right when I was like thinking about buying it, it sold like that because you just don't see those like rare Seinfeld pieces too often. That's true. And you can't even like look up sold listings on those because it just, they never happen. No. <laughs> the, mar- <laughs> the market's theirs. Whoever has yeah. it, they can set that market. All right. This next piece is actually really cool. It's funny because I showed this piece during May the 4th as like a trivia thing just to see if anyone knew about this piece. So I don't know if you know about this piece. The lightsaber colors are backwards. So Vader has a blue saber and Luke has a red. So this is an error. They did this on a movie poster. And I think once George Lucas saw the poster, he scrapped it. Because he's like, no, that doesn't make sense. Like, yeah. the, the colors are wrong. Jedi's are not supposed to have red sabers. So this is pretty that's cool. Wild. That's a yeah. that's a piece of history right there, you know. Yeah, I know the movie poster actually goes for quite a bit, um, but it was just cool. I had to grab the T-shirt. My brother oh, yeah. uh, told me that history because I I had no idea. I was like, what's up with that? Why are the colors so off? Crazy. Pretty cool. This one is pretty nuts, too, because it has has a pretty controversial word on the front cover here. So this is a movie promo, Ice Cube. I think the movie's called Higher Learning. Yeah, love that movie. But on the front cover of the book, it says the N-word. Oh, wow. Crazy on there. It's a Y2K, like 2001 or 2002. But I like these kind of tees it kind of reminds me of the supreme photo tees mm-hmm. uh, i've always just liked that right in the center logo and i think this is actually done by the same guy who does the supreme photos his name's sean sean mortensen a photographer 
if you can pick that oh, wow. up. But pretty dope. Oh, and like those single like portrait tees, and then on top of that, man, that's a that's a really good movie. It's a surprisingly, yeah, that's probably in my not top ten, but probably top twenty. It's just a really good movie, and I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's. Uh, I haven't actually. No, definitely watch this guy. Him, I, what him? Omar Epps. I'm trying to think who else is in it, but definitely some good people in it. Is it a comedy or is it like a serious? No, yeah, it's like serious. It's um, it has to do. The reason why it's called Higher Learning, it has to do with. Basically, like these uh, students at college who it's like deals with racism and like a bunch of other issues and stuff. But uh, it's a it's a pretty uh, there's some parts in there that are pretty uh, yeah intense. So pretty I intense. Would definitely, yeah, I would recommend it. This next one, I've actually had this shirt, I think maybe four or five times, but every time I get it, it seems to fly on a fruit of the loom. It's a Mortal Kombat movie tee. Such a letdown of a movie. I mean, they tried. <laughs> they tried, but it's it's tough to do such a cool, like, fighting movie back then. They just didn't have the, the graphics that we do now and the technology. Reportedly, they're supposed to do another one this year, so we'll see. That uh, would make sense. I would definitely, yeah. definitely go and see that. Now they have the technology, man. It's like if you have Sub-Zero, you're going to not have, like, them throwing some ice cubes so, you know what I mean? <laughs> right the technology well, is better it's, you can't so beat it. this movie came out i think in 95 96 i'm not sure yeah and then they when did the original matrix come out was it like 98 yeah i think I so i feel like i i mean i'm sure the budgets were way different but the matrix was just on point yeah like, yeah they killed that movie with the amount of technology that we had back then like I think that it just goes to yeah budgets and then how they how much they want to spend and then technology. It's like when you watch horror movies, uh, you know now versus horror movies back then with like the fake blood. It's like oh man, you know, it's like spaghetti <laughs> versus like actual <laughs> blood. You know I mean? Feels like you're there with the blood now. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely true. This next one is a, another Disney promo. I think it's a super underrated movie, Hunchback of Notre Dame. It is. Got all the characters on it. Pretty cool colors. And the back hit. Nice. I wish this one was an XL. I would definitely hang it up in the personal, but yeah. since it's a large, I'm just stashing it. Maybe trade it eventually or sell it. <clears throat> yeah, very I actually got this for it. a really good deal. What were you how saying? Much, how much did you get for it? I got that for 30 bucks. Damn. Damn. Yeah, super good deal. The homie hit me up. He thrifted it, and he's like, "Hey, man, I know you're looking for Disney tees. Another one of those." And thirty bucks. I'm swooping that every time. Right. Next one is super dope. I've never seen this version of it. Maybe you have. Uh, it's on an older AAA tag. This one's single stitch. Independence Day. Oh wow! Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of Independence Day, but I've never seen this one. Uh, usually it's on a black tee and a lot bigger and it. has Hollywood video okay. on the sleeve. <laughs> so yeah, this one hit hard with me. I remember spending at least an hour every time I went into Hollywood <laughs> video as a kid. It's like it's almost like a mini Disneyland. I don't know what it was. Like you it's have just to leave there with it. candy, yeah. a movie, maybe a rented game. Just the best times. The best yeah. times. <clears throat> you guys are kind of close to well kind of i mean oregon they have the last blockbuster i always right? talk about making a trip over there and do it they just be For cool sure. to like and to think of something like so simply that we'd want to go do that <laughs> just to go walk around and look at movies you know like i've literally tried to talk to some of my friends like yo let's just make this drive from iowa to oregon and go to go shop to at blockbuster one. right <laughs> And I remember I had a Hollywood video really close to my house in Renton. And my brother actually went and bought, as they were closing, like five of their display movie things. Oh, so we got like super bad, uh, old school, just those movies around that time. It was super sick. I love those movie props that they had. Yep. This one I recently got from Rebound Classics. It's the Armageddon. Such a good movie. Love this back here. <clears throat> 
It's one I've seen quite a few times, but it doesn't get old. Great movie. Yeah. Michael Bay and Jerry, uh, Jerry B. Celeb. This one actually got a lot of buzz when I posted this on my Instagram. Some people saying they've never seen it before. I thought I've seen it, but maybe I was tripping, but really like this one. The details in this Escher are just crazy. Wow. So it's yeah, the I've seen that one before. That's crazy. Reflective sphere sphere. Double sided. Nice. I wish this was an XL. I would definitely be keeping this one. It's a twenty one by like twenty eight. It's a little tight in the chest. Yeah. And that's kind of a hard stretch too to like stretch to another the width like, is, yeah, the yeah. width is tough. Yeah. All right. This next one, another one that got a lot of buzz. And I've, I've still yet to see this T-shirt, so it's pretty cool. I think I might I, I might be the only one that I've seen. Oh. So it's a Shrek fairy tale. It says, uh, the greatest fairy tale never told. And in the back, it, it's super sick. Nice. Yeah, I think I saw you post that, and I, like, lost my I think where I was Shrek's such a good movie. And and I would think there would be more movie promos. It's like, oh, one. It's, like, not su- super old. It's crazy, though, because there's not. Like, I've tried to look. At, you can't find it. That's why I was, yeah. like, so, like, when I saw you post it, I was, like, dude, I was, like, I've probably only seen two other Shrek promo scenes. Like, it's crazy. And the ones I have seen are really kiddish. It's, like, Puss in Boots. Yeah. Just, like, with this on guard thing. It's just, yeah. like, eh. This one just, like, really hits. I actually won this in a raffle from Rebound Classics. Nice. $16, man. That's why I love the raffles. Like, this is priceless. 16 bucks. I was just talking with the homie yesterday because we were talking about, like, just raffles and, like, the people who do, like, you know, we we're talking to you, you know, Heat Broker and everything. And I'm like, man, I got to start entering some more raffles. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I do it once in a while, but, like, I'm about to, get, you know, I'm at home, man. I'm about to just get on this wave of just entering a bunch of raffles and just see what yeah. happens. And I think there's like a right way and a wrong way. I think the people that just buy one slot, it just, I think you're throwing your money away. I think if you're going to enter a raffle, you got to just go all in. You're like, I'm getting four of these. Yeah. I'm putting myself at a higher chance probability. The ones I, I, I've rarely won on just like a one slot. Yeah. It's super hard. This next one I've actually got from Sold My Souls. He gave me this tee as well. Nice. Super dope page, has so many good movie tees. It's like a dead stock 1987 Roger Rabbit. Oh. And I've been looking. Damn, the colors. I've been looking for Roger Rabbit pieces for a while, and a lot of them are just really small because they're 80s. Yeah. yeah. This one's super sick and an XL back hit. My brother wants this so bad. <laughs> I might trade him for his Titanic piece. We'll see. But yeah, this one, super sick. Yeah. Roger Rabbit's another one of those that just hit really hard as a kid. Such a good movie. Yeah, I love the uh, the mix of animation and then real life acting. Like I don't know. They why. did it so was, well. Yeah, it was just, and especially for the time too. It's interesting. But then we get Mortal Kombat, and they didn't do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the budget was better. Exactly. All right, back to uh, the mullet tees. This is a one of the better mullet tees that I've seen. So it's got. God, I don't remember his name. The main guy in Ants. He's in the front with the microscope or the magnifying glass. And the ants hit on the back. Nice. Not as good as Bugs Life, but still a damn good movie. Yeah. People hate on Ants so much. And I'm like, dude, I, I get it. Bugs Life was really good, but you know what's wrong with Ants? <laughs> the different I, same <laughs> concept. <laughs> I compare the hate to Ants as like people that hate Nickelback. <laughs> they, they make good music they make good movies but people just yeah. you know just want to always hate it it's funny <laughs> yeah such a good movie 98 dreamworks it's a good one. Ooh, this next one so sick the nostalgia every time i see this back hit so i remember this commercial and everything so here's the front ice age nice. this back hit though Whoa. Man, who doesn't remember this commercial with the hamster and them chasing for the DVD? <laughs> oh, man. So sick. 
And not only do you got the Hollywood video hit, but you got the, the big block. Yeah. And it's like you can see inside the blockbuster the details. It's super yeah. cool. And RIP blockbuster. Go visit the way. If you guys are in Oregon, go visit the one <laughs> in Oregon, man. Keep it alive. There's Keep actually it alive. A There's a page dedicated to saving the last blockbuster. Like, literally, all of his content is all like 90s VHS, like promos, like literally TV promos, a bunch of stuff. But then, like, he sells merch and I think he, like, helps donate it to the block like he like literally cares about saving this life but it's like block an endangered block. species like we have to yeah. do all we can to right? save the block <laughs> <clears throat> this next one is one of my better uh snipes that i got i got this in a bundle on Macari. i've never seen this tea before i've been offered i got offered 200 bucks and i turned it down just because i i really like the tea so it's a little mullet tea bugs life on the front but one of the best back hits I've seen for this movie, if not the best back hit. Yeah, it's so sick. Got Flick in there. Can't remember the princess's name. But yeah, the colors are sick. Such a good movie. Really? It looks, it looks brand new. On, slept on Disney movies. Big time. And those Disney Pixars are always just, they always do them right. Yeah, even to this day, like I, uh, I can't remember what just came out, but I, wa- I was watching something with my nephew, and it was like one of the most recent ones. But again, like they they still make good content today, you know. Yeah, for sure. This next one, in my opinion, is my. I've had a lot of Jurassic Park teas, but this one, it's honestly my favorite. I know there's some really really good ones. I just love the colors on this one. Oh yeah sunset the t-rex has like a red dot in his eye mm-hmm. so seen a like, earthling vip with this one and this one's like in mint condition super dope jurassic park on a haynes beefy next one Happy Joy Joy. Nice. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. I love the Nickelodeon hits on these. Oh, yeah. That always just brings that nostalgia just that much more. And yeah, if you guys have Ren and Stimpy pieces, hit me up. I'm trying to stack to on these. No, it's so sick. I used to collect, I don't really have any in the collection now, but I used to collect a lot of 90s Nick tees. And yeah. there was. Uh, <laughs> The Red and Stimpy's, man, are always my favorite. But there's one that I, I don't think I've ever seen. And if, if I ever see it, I'm for sure going to cop. But a, a, a Good Burger promo t-shirt. Oh, man. My girlfriend wants one, too. Dude, if they ever have, you know, like the movie cover, if they ever had one. And I'm sure they made it. They had to make Guaranteed. it. Guaranteed. So, Guaranteed. like, if they had one with just that cover, like, I would. that's, like, one of the ones I'll retire with. Like, <laughs> Or if they did like Good Burger or Good Burger with like all that, that yeah, sick. yeah. I don't know if they ever did that many all that tees though either. I've seen like some jackets. Too. Yeah, I was just gonna say I've seen the jackets, but I've never seen like that many like t-shirts too often. This one I've never seen before either. Again on a giant tag, and maybe it, maybe it is common. Who knows? But the Mummy Returns. It's nice. got the rock on the on the cover. Just love seeing the rock and like just not not in a wrestling uniform, you know. Yeah. Super sick. Had to grab this one. And that's one of his big uh, you know, jumps into Hollywood was doing like the Scorpion King stuff. So it's really he took uh, off in Hollywood. Like, yeah, he's, he's in every yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. He's like, every movie you go see, like he's, he's just oh, in every man. He's killing it. Yeah, so I had to grab that one. Definitely a definitely a good piece. Ooh, this next one so sick. Fruit of the Loom. I wish this was an XL, it would be <laughs> personal, but had to grab it. Okay. God knows I don't ask for much. <laughs> Kramer T. Love the colors. This one really just looks super 90s, like right when you look at it. 
And there's so many reprints of the Kramer tees now. There so are. many Seinfeld reprints. Especially that, you, the, the Kramer, like the one with just the like painting of him. Like you see yeah. like, the print of that like so much. So much. And I've seen like, what's the tag called? I can't remember what the tag's called, but I can't even, or it's like NBC experience tag. Yeah. Yep. I don't even know if that's really that old. I can't tell. So from what I've like saw and learned about that, because um, I I really want to find friends promo t-shirt. So oh, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen a couple. And so uh, the NBC experience, I want to say it's probably early 2000s. I think that's when they like really started to introduce that stuff. Because the, the office promo, I want to say, is on an NBA, uh, NBC experience tag too. So Got, so did that was that just like an online website? Yeah. I think it was like their start for like the online shop or like a – you know, probably a gift shop inside, like, the studios, too, and stuff, so it's pretty sure. interesting. This next one, people have said that it's the best piece that I have from okay. people that come to my page. <clears throat> I definitely put it in my top ten. I've never seen another one in an adult size. I've seen one in a small. So it's a Delta XL and this Heather Gray. Super good color. Single stitch. It's dead stock. Oh, 98 Rugrats T with all the characters too. Let's see if I can get all the characters in there. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorite pieces. Been offered quite a bit of cash or trades for this one. I just can't let it go because I probably won't get another Rugrats T. No, you won't, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, keep on to that because those, uh, the Nickelodeon T's with either the, the rarer shows or the ones with the full cast on there. Like I just saw. There's this page I just like followed out of nowhere, and I never really heard of him as the, the Vintage Wiz or Vintage Wiz or something like oh, that. Oh, he's my homie. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. He's uh, the homie. That Doug, that Doug promo t-shirt. What it's, the hell? Like, it's the I best on Instagram. Dude, best crazy. One on, with with Roger Klutz on yeah. there. Oh, I was man. like, oh my god! I was like, I've never even seen that before. I was like, I need that. That rock yeah. is crazy too, though. Me and him have had some some quite a few talks about pieces and. We're trying to come to agreement. I want his Donkey Kong. He has two of them. Okay. The big Donkey Kong. He's like sitting on the Nintendo sign. Yeah. I think that's the best Donkey Kong I've ever seen, but I'll get it from him one day. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I love his collection though. And uh, we've had some long talks. He met like LeBron and Michael Jordan too, personally. Like that's wow. super dope. Yeah. This next one is a big grail for me. <clears throat> one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, this isn't part of the movie, but this is before they got their movie. I think this is before. Uh, it's on a Fruit of the Loom. It's Deadstock, Wayne's World, Saturday Night Live. Nice. Party on, Wayne. Yeah, love this one. Dude really hooked it up. I think I paid like 95 for this brand new. Wow. Yeah, that definitely looks before... A lot of their promos were either just the simple Wayne's World or like the the big faces, like that definitely, especially with the Saturday Night Live hit, it probably had. Any hat? Yeah, and he has like the Wayne's World hat, so that's what threw me. I don't know if they, he was wearing that. If they were wearing that in the Saturday yeah. Night Live, but I think yeah. it might have just been a segment before the movie. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. 1991, pretty sick. Love the colors on that one. <clears throat> All right, last one of my bagged up ones, and then we're on to the Beavis collection. This is my dead stock version of that Pepsi oh, tea. Cool. So my other one's super faded, super stretched out. The neck's all worn yeah. in, and this one's just crispy. Dude, colors pop and everything. Such a good tea. And Kramer just looks super dope on it. I don't know. They really right. killed it on that photo. Yeah. Super good tea. I'll probably I'll probably never sell this one. Kramer or the Shack one for you? Which one are you going with? Kramer. Yeah. 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 I don't know why. Just because uh, there's so many different Shack teas out there, the, the amount of Kramer teas that are out there is limited. I think this is the best Kramer tea out there. No, it really is. Yeah. I think there might be a couple Shacks that I've seen that I like a little bit more than the Pepsi one. Not that it's not a good one, but. All right, now, so I showed a couple Beavis pieces, uh, part one. This is the, the rest of my Beavis and Butthead stuff. I've been on a mission to collect these probably for the last five months. Boom. Nice. 
guys. The Baywatch parody. <laughs> Super sick. I was just wearing this one yesterday on a Stanley tag. It always seemed like the uh, the beavis and buttheads are on Stanleys a lot for the most part. And if they're not on a Stanley, the graphic, if you just look at the bottom trademark, is done by Stanley. So yeah, that's pretty dope. This is probably one of my favorite Stanley or favorite Beavises. Sorry. <clears throat> and I feel like the Beavis pieces are just gonna keep going up. No, Every time are. I look at them, I'm like, they just they, there's something about them just hits. That's why I haven't sold my Tommy Pole my think. <laughs> and if you do, I'm your man. I need that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one I won in a raffle recently. I haven't seen this one besides this. I don't know, but I'm sure they're out there. This is another Stanley one. Nice, yeah. Just the black and white. Simple. It's a large. I wish it was an XL, but. Yeah, you don't cool. see the uh, color ones too much like that. The black and white's pretty sick. Yeah, it is sick. Next one, I just bought another one of these on eBay two days ago in my size. This one's like a medium large. Um, but I've been on the hunt for this one for an extra large for a while. Nice. All over print. They're chilling at school. Super cool colors. Love the all over prints. And then the back's just plain. Yeah. One of my favorites is it's just... I love the uh, the switch. You think if you flip it over, it's going to be an all over print on the other side. It's like, no, nah, it's just the front. It's, it's party in the sick. front on this one. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's a sick one. It's on a softy tag. Softy makes some really good blanks, too. They do, yeah. This one took a while to track down because no one ever wants to let it go. I remember 1980 something had it, and I missed it by just. A couple minutes. It sold so quick. It's the Statue oh, yeah. of Liberty one where they're looking up her skirt. Love that one. Yeah. This one's on again on a Stanley. Stanley tag. This one's got a little bit of staining. I need to look up on how to like get rid of stains the best way. What do you, you usually use? Uh, I do soak. So like I'll soak. Um, I'll do an oxy soak. So pretty much really? get. Yeah, I get like, uh, I don't know, like, you know, those big, like, kind of moving tubs or whatever, mm -hmm. like, uh, like classic ones, like, uh, mm -hmm. so I'll get that, I'll fill it up in my tub, um, get the OxyClean, it's like a powder, you put that in, um, you know, kind of mix it around a little bit, and then I'll throw, like, one, two, or three, depending on how many white t-shirts I have, and then I'll soak that, um, you know, get done with that, rinse it out, and then uh, do it in the wash as well, uh, mm -hmm. and usually they come out pretty well, like, I actually did that with the Tommy Pull My Finger shirt, and it got pretty much everything out besides like maybe one, I uh, just one small stain, but it does, it does the work. If you soak it, soak it for like four to six hours. So if something where you got some time on your hands. Yeah. I need to yeah. do that one of these days and just grab all the shirts that have stains and just go and just take care of them. Uh, for real. It's like cleaning uh, your shoes. Like you just want to knock out like five, six pairs in one yeah. day, just scrubbing like crazy to your uh, hands, get all pruney. It's another one I got uh, that I've never seen before. <laughs> They're like firefighters, and it's like yeah. his butt draft. <laughs> another 97. I got this pretty recently. Pretty simple on the back. It's just tiny little MTV. Not one I've seen before, though. That's a... Uh, you see yeah, a lot of, actually... like, with the other ones, and, like, yeah, I love the small hit ones, like the butt watch. I don't think I've really seen that one before either. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that was the first time i seen that one. Paid kind of a bit for it, but never seen it, so I had to grab it. It's one of those things. This one I like a lot. I don't know if a lot of people like the parodies on these ones, but for me, since I listen to this band, uh, it's pretty dope. It's the Beavis and Butthead ACDC. Oh, nice. Parody, so they're just dressed up as ACDC band, jamming <laughs> out. Nothing on the back on this one, but... I got like three or four Beavis tees from one guy, and this is one of the ones from him. And now, if people are, go ahead. I was just gonna ask, do you collect any uh, like Beavis and Butthead like uh, collectibles? Like, do you have any? I have, I have a set of the comics coming. Okay, for sure. 
eight, eight comics coming. Uh, but no, that's I think that's it. Um, I used to have you the Funko get... Pops. Oh, nice. You get... Those are expensive, man. Those are those I shot have. Up. I, I used to have. So before I got into vintage, I was into Funkos as well with the hype stuff. I had 500 at one point. Now I'm down wow. to like 150. But I've made a lot of money on those things. One of them I bought for $12 in 2013. Sold it about four weeks ago for almost 300 bucks. Dude. <laughs> 300 you were on, like, I tell people, like, like I, I slept. I wasn't a bad homie who was. And, like, if you had some of those Funkos from 13, 14, like, bro, like, oh, my gosh. Those, they just go for so much now. Like, it's The crazy. margins, too. It's, like, what's cool about what I like, too, about vintage versus the Supreme stuff is the margins. I can get a shirt for 20 versus and then sell it for you know, such so much more than buying a, a Supreme shirt for 50, 60, out, you know, out the gate. And then these yeah. Funkos were eight bucks. I would go hunt, yeah. grab like 10 of them and then watch them just skyrocket little by little. Yeah. Super dope. And if, and if you have the eye for like, oh, new Disney movies coming out, they're dropping the pops for the movie. Let's grab the exclusives. Like it was fun. Yeah. That was a fun little time. <laughs> it's another Beavis. This is the movie tee. Super good one. This is actually my brother's favorite of my collection. So Seen this sick. one quite a bit, but super sick. Stanley tags cut on this one. It's funny too because people trip when the tags are cut, but you got to think about it. How thick those tags were? They're probably itching, you know? Yeah, itching people, so they had to cut them. Now, like, yeah, like I cut tags on a lot of my new T-shirts because I don't really. Like, they, they, it hurts, but, or not yeah, hurts, but it's just annoying. Like, irritating, yeah. Yeah, so I can see why people cut them. This is a good one. Another Stanley Beavis. The got a napkin tee. Love this one. I've actually had two or three of these, but what's cool about this one, I don't know, if, actually, I don't know if I consider it cool, but it's actually a, someone made this shirt custom. It's like a 21 run. Oh, wow. So they put their name on the back and uh, Chris and Brent's excellent, excellent adventure, twenty first B day, ninety six. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a you know a possible one of probably like eight or something right there. <laughs> right, that we're giving out to his buddies. <laughs> you got the twenty first birthday, you know, ninety six right there, man. <laughs> I know, and I was looking up and down. I'm like, is there any beer stains? Because they might have had a crazy night in this tea. Right, but no, it's in pretty good condition funny got a few more beavis ones this one's probably the cleanest beavis one i have it's basically dead stock on a fruit of loom it's the one where they're chilling in the room on the couch super clean hardly any wear to it good colors I was just watching uh, Jackass 3 uh, with my girl a couple of days ago. And it's funny because they, they do the intro of that movie. I forgot completely. I don't know if you oh, remember. Yeah. Oh, and I was like, what? What is Beavis doing? I was like, oh, yeah, I do remember that. This one's actually, I think, my, maybe my favorite one that I have. Stanley, I've never seen this one before. It's a green one on a long sleeve. Wow. And it's the Christmas version. Yeah, I have that VHS tape actually. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. It, in the the VHS tape's green too, which is pretty funny. <laughs> have you ever seen this one? I've never seen that one before. That's crazy. Yeah, so green long sleeve, definitely something I'm going to be wearing around the Christmas time. I was just going to say, you got some options for Christmas, man. Like you could right? uh, pull up to the Christmas party and some stuff like a couple different outfits. <laughs> Yeah, so I was super excited to get that one. Can't remember who I got it from, but he did he do it do a really good price. Last two Beavis ones. Corn Julio. Nice. Can't go wrong. Probably the most iconic character from the Beavis. Yeah. Corn Julio. So funny. TP for my bunghole. Like it's just <laughs> My dad used to say that in just the funniest voice, and I just remember that. So I had to grab these ones. So sick. Just such a such a weird cartoon. Like every yeah. time I think about this, it's just such a eerie, 
just different cartoon. I remember when they brought it back in like 2012 also, and like it was just it, it hit a little different, but I mean it was still good. But it's uh it's definitely such a good series. I still have a lot of the VHS tapes. Like I collect some of the VHS tapes, so I have like a bunch of those. I just you know with us staying at home, I've been flipping them on too. And it's pretty fun right. to watch. <laughs> yeah, we, what, what was my brother watching yesterday? He's watching Wedding Singer on VHS. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stanley Tag, last one. Cornelio <laughs> again. Really good colors on this one. I've seen oh, yeah. it quite a bit, but can't go wrong. And I see a lot of the Beavis tees are just always super stained and distressed because a bunch of people were just watching the show and just snacking out on them, drinking. Yeah. They didn't really <laughs> care, you know. No one was thinking, oh, that shirt's going to be 150 bucks in right. 10, 15 years. All right. So I think the next set of tees will be movie tees from the 2000s for the most part. Yeah. I've been, I think we talked about it in part one. I've, I've been trying to go grab those movies. That kind of resonate with me a little bit more, um, the 2000s movies. Yeah. This one's uh, Boondock Saints 2. Nothing too crazy, but I, what I do like about it, it's the actual movie cover. Such a good movie, Boondock Saints. So sick. One of the cheaper ones, and I, I'm telling these people, you guys got to grab these shirts now, because you're going to regret it in about four or five years when all these two well, Y2K I, shirts. I say the same thing with like some of the 2000 bands. Like the early yeah. 2000 bands are like... Uh, a lot of the uh, mid, like, uh, I'm trying to think of some, but like uh, My Chemical Romance, you know, some mm -hmm. of those kind of like bands and everything. Like, I feel like those are going to start to shoot up here soon. So. I had an Evanescence tee that I regret, kind of regret selling because Evanescence made some dope music, man. And <laughs> another one of those that maybe could shoot up down the road. Who knows? Incubus is probably another one. I haven't seen too many yeah. Incubus tees. Lincoln Park. I think I could see that. Oh, I, I definitely need a Lincoln Park. Here's the Born born tea. I think these will definitely be big hitters down the line. Just because they have more than just the spell out the actual character. Yeah. Jason Bourne was a badass. That one's 2007. So yeah, I'm 13 years old. I mean, it's still pretty old. 13 years. Like, Here's uh, American Wedding. Nice. Wouldn't mind letting go of the American Wedding, uh, the whole set, if someone wants to trade or cash out on that one. Just because I'm looking for the other American Pie tea. I don't know if you've seen it. It's like a black tea with the pie. Pie, uh, yeah. That's the one I really want because I'd, yeah. I'd wear that one. There's one with the soundtrack list, too, from the original movie that I kind of want. That has, it says Green Day on there and a few other bands I like. So that would be a sick one to have. It's another American Wedding. This one's on a red tea. Nice. A little mullet. And what's cool about the back, it just has a little Stifler quote. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts is when the, like those strippers come over and like yeah. the maid costumes and stuff. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, it's time to boom boom with the bridesmaids on the back there. And then Pretty the parents sick. come home and they're like, <laughs> the guy's trying to explain to them like, oh yeah, we hear their house. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. His outfit that he's wearing too, trying to explain yeah. it. <laughs> oh man. Classic. All right, first tub. Every time I look at this shirt, I love it more and more. I've thought about selling this a couple times, but the condition this one's in, it's brand new with all the characters on it. It's a 97 Star Wars Trilogy Celebration to you. So I think these were given out when they did a, a marathon of all three movies in the theaters. So you had to stay there for like nine hours. Yeah. To watch these three movies. Pretty dope, though. Oh, it is. Join the celebration. That's so sick. Yeah, just imagine that. Ten hours in the theater. <laughs> you a big Star Wars guy, too? Um, I've seen all the movies. I'm not, like, like huge, but, like, I, I definitely love the movies a lot. Um, definitely something that I need to like with May the 4th I thought about going on Disney Plus and just watching them all over again I'm trying to get my girlfriend to watch them actually so that's going to be the next uh, goal there my girlfriend's seen zero she's yeah. not with it at all uh, 
And she's the funny enough, she's into like Harry Potter, for instance, and that's a long ass trilogy, same long ass series, I should say, that uh, you know, I don't watch from time to time. So, like, I'm trying to make the compromise where it's like, all right, I'll watch all of Harry Potter if you watch all of Star Wars. Like, let's go, yeah, <laughs> and fun. yeah, shoot, what does Harry Potter have? Like, what, seven movies Technically, now? Because that's two parts, so Holy the seven. Seven, and they're like three hours long. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's like Lord yeah. of the Rings. Same kind of yeah. thing. You want to knock all yeah. those out? Just knock them yeah. out. <laughs> this one's pretty simple. Just the born uh, supremacy spell out. It's on an all sport. What's cool about this one, it's single stitch. And it has a little UPS put oh, on wow. the sleeve. Pretty random. I don't know. This were given out to like male workers for the yeah. movie. I don't know what this was. The collaboration with UPS, like helping them out. <laughs> yeah. the movie. <laughs> really good fade on it. Super worn in. So now I have all the Born series. I got the Supremacy, Ultimatum, regular one. Nice. This shirt I love a lot for how basic it is. It's on an anvil tag. The one I'm looking for, the only one I've seen is from uh, Sold My Souls. Uh, it's a Dumb and Dumber tee, but it actually has like Jim Carrey on it. Yeah. Um, and they're like wearing their tuxedo. I don't know if you've oh, ever seen it. He's asking 700 on it. He's asking 700. And wow. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. But yeah, this is a simple spell out. It's from 92, I believe. Yeah, that's the only one I've ever seen. I need to see. I need to go on this page and see the other one. Cause... Yeah, it's, it's it's awesome. I told him I'll trade him a bunch of stuff, but I can't cash out. Yeah. Like, oh, we'll see. It's one of my favorites. But, yeah. He's trying to trade it for a mask tee, and that's something oh, I, just, <laughs> I don't have. Older Anvil. Or newer Anvil, sorry. Meet the Fockers. A good-ass movie, man. People, Such people a good work. movie. <laughs> Oh man, the whole series, Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, and then is there one other one after that? Little Fockers or something? Yeah, Little Fockers. Yeah, yeah that's a good one too. I, people, uh, I don't know why, that scene with the cat, and like the, dude, it's, it's, it's such a good, or like the, the kid in, uh, when uh, Ben Stiller was talking to the kid and the kid starts cussing or whatever, like it's... My favorite like, scene, uh, I, I can remember vividly, is the volleyball that gets thrown up, and then the spike. Yeah, <laughs> it just smashes her face. Like, but I, I feel so bad for him in that part. Right, man, so funny. All right, next tub. This one's pretty cool. I've kept this one brand new. It's on the M and O knits. Nice. The Matrix Reloaded. I think Matrix One is probably in my top ten favorite movies. Uh, so to have this one's pretty dope. I think they did that series so well yeah. all the way through. Kind of confusing the timeline a little bit for me, the movie, but such a good movie. Reportedly, they're supposed to do another one, which I don't know what they're going to kind of do it about. But it's, uh, I think they're trying to ride the Keanu Reeves like, wave that he's, you know, kind of the the John Wick. that he's on right now. So they're like, yeah, yeah let's, just, let's just do another movie. Come on. <laughs> I, yeah, I really wonder where they would go with that because – they bring Morpheus back or how yeah. they would handle that. This is um, one of my favorite Star Wars tees because I have the whole set. So this is the Vader movie promo with the New nice. Hope on the back. Yeah, I was on the hunt for these after I got the Yoda one. It took me quite a while to actually find them uh, for sale. A lot of people don't want to let these ones go. This one has a really good fade on it from 95. So yeah. Happy to get this one. Really good deal on it too from uh, somebody on Instagram. Nice. 50, 40, 40 bucks, I think. Oh, it's not that long. Mm -hmm. Here's another one to go with that same theme. This one's on an anvil this time. It's a stormtrooper with the uh, the battle scene going down at the bottom, and then the back hit. Empire Strikes Back. There's something about the back hit with the titles. Like, I don't know why. Like, it's always sick. So sick. So, yeah. I would actually wouldn't mind doubling up on this set. <clears throat> I think it's they're some of my favorite Star Wars teams. And my parents had me on Star Wars at an early age. So, Star Wars is definitely 
a lot of nostalgia for me. I had the toys, all the little toys growing up, and I know people collect those still in the box still. It's pretty wow. dope to see. Another one, all sport. Probably as basic basic as you can get on a tee. Just says, meet the parents. Okay. Single stitch, though, which is kind of funny. That all sport. Uh, this one's a 2000. Sometimes yeah. that just simple chest hit is all you need, you know? People. Yeah, like I would wear this super casual, and that's not like a super flex piece, right. but someone someone sees it, they're like, yeah, meet the parents is a great movie. It's just yeah. one of those conversation yeah. pieces, possibly. And that's another cool thing, like, um, cause I used to wear like the Supreme and all that stuff and I would wear that stuff and it does not get recognized like something like this. It's yeah. not even close. Yeah. Like it is not even close. And I'm just like, man, like that just really tells you too. Like I wore a Beavis shirt to the grocery store yesterday. I had like five compliments, like saying that yeah. shirt's so awesome. I'm like that stuff's cool. No, that's really it's, cool and, that's the truth. and you wear stuff around. Like, um, I had this piece, I ended up selling it, but like the hello Newman, uh, Seinfeld piece. Great like, one. Uh, I would go around and like literally people would like out of nowhere just be like, hello, Newman. And I'm like, <laughs> like you know, the simple yeah, stuff like that's cool to connect with people through t shirts, like random yeah, people. Not even, like, it resonates way harder than a box logo. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. this one I actually really like is super underrated movie Minority Report. I don't know if you've seen this one. I don't think I have. I'm trying to remember. Like, so it it's um it's a movie about these cops that can see crimes before they happen. Okay. Um, the back hit I really love. Gosh, who's the main actor in this? It's not Tom Cruise. It's uh, shoot, who's the guy from Phone Booth? I don't, I'm trying to remember. Gosh, I'm drawing blanks right now. I think that's yeah, it. In the comments below, like, <laughs> phone booth, such a good movie too. That, that's a great movie. Minority Report. So we'll go to the next bin here. Ooh, this next one. I'll give you bonus points if you've seen this movie. My dad loves this movie. Made me watch it like five times. It's on an Optima tag. So from the front hit, the band just says Steel Dragon. And the back hit is the, the soundtrack for the movie Rockstar. Have you ever seen the movie Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that Jennifer Aniston in it too for a bit? Or um, she might she might be in it actually. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah. it's such a dope movie. Yeah, it is. I watched uh, that on, great, on a random day once. <laughs> some great bands on here too. So we got Bon Jovi, Everclear, Kiss, Montley Crew, Steel Dragon, Ted Nugent. So, yeah, super good soundtrack. If you guys haven't seen the movie Rockstar, uh, I highly recommend it. It's the only uh, movie promo I've ever seen for that movie. And you know what's weird? I think, like, uh, I talk about this all the time, is the power of attraction. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like once you watch the movie or talk about a piece and all of a sudden it just pops up on your timeline or on your eBay search, it just happens to happen that way. It's so weird. Yeah. This was one of those. I watched this movie, and then, like, li literally a week later, I found it on Offer Up. The Italian Job. Super good movie. Like, things you won't see every day, then when you finally see it, it's like, uh, I've always had this weird thing. It's like, whenever I get a new car, or if I know somebody who gets a new car, I start to see the car, like, all the time. You yes. Know, same thing. It's, it's so same weird. Same exact <laughs> thing, dude. <laughs> Man, I, yeah, I got my Jeep, and I'm like, man, I've never seen this colored Jeep before. And literally, I'm seeing them left and, and right. Started, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny. The world works in funny ways. Right. This next one, I'm looking for one that's cleaner. This one's all stained up, but I just couldn't pass it up. The Star Wars one. And this one only released in Denver, Colorado. For the movie release. Nice. I love, love, love this front graphic. But it's all stained up. It's yellowed. It's got uh, the Star Wars head on the sleeve. See that? And then the back hit has all the. Uh, oh wow! The release 
like the states that the movie released at. But yeah, this one's all stained up. Let me see if I can get the stains on there. Okay. But I might have to try that little oxy technique. It might, say, it might yeah. be the way. Yeah, see how it goes. Yeah, definitely love this piece. If I can clean it up, it's getting a wooden hanger. And a wooden hanger means it's untouchable. <laughs> I love that. That's that's the move. So like you got the you got the plastic bags for like the uh, the stash. Maybe I'll sell. Maybe I'll trade. But if yep. it's that wooden hanger, that's that cosign that you need. <laughs> it's it's on lock. And but I, I always tell people money talks. Like I've had people that are like it's my personal, but then I offer them a cash offer they can't resist. Yeah. Sometimes they got to take it and run. Yeah. This one actually got from a local homie, and I value this T-shirt probably a lot more than what it's worth. The oh. Bane Dark Knight. Yeah. And I've never seen this one, and I had to grab it. He had it for like 30 bucks. Yeah, I've never seen that. And again, that's, dude, like 10, 15 years from now, that's going to, that whole trilogy. This like, grail so literally will be like in a, in a, like a Pulp Fiction style, yeah. you know? It's that good wow. film. Yeah, it's a and dope people, one. People sleep on him too because, like, obviously Heath Ledger's performance was so great. But man, Tom Hardy was <sighs> vain. He killed that. Dude. Killed that. And Tom Hardy in general, just really good in all of his movies. Inception, he was really good as well. Oh, yeah. All right. One more case here, and then we'll move on to something else. This one has a perfect fade. Oh man, love I love when I get a shirt with just a perfect fade. It's just the Matrix one, just simple spell out. Fits perfectly. It's got some stains on the bottom, but I think it adds to the yeah. it adds to the T. Look at that fade. Love it. Got this for a pretty good deal too. It was like twenty five bucks five yeah. months ago, something like that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the next one. Perfect, because uh, this will complete the series. Born, Born Identity. Identity. <laughs> Prob- I don't know. This might be my favorite from the series. It's a tough one to say, but super dope. And you're making me want to go rewatch the movies. I haven't seen those in such a long time. I need to wonder what they're on. They need to go like, check it up again. Yeah, and it's got that little Panasonic fries. It as well, we talked nice. about. Hell oh, yeah. And then this last movie, T, hits hard with me. Like, I value this one quite a bit. Probably would never sell it. One of my favorite movies. So it's super simple hit on the front. It doesn't even say anything. It's just like a logo. Mm-hmm. And then the back. Stick oh, it nice. to the man. Uh, you know what this movie is? Oh, yeah, man. School of Such Rock. A great movie. It's a very slept on movie too, dude. Jack Black killed it. Killed it. He's so good his guitar solos when he's just jamming out with his voice. <laughs> and I love Jack Black. So funny. Super underrated there. All right. So those those ones. What should I show? How about we show something that isn't like t-shirts? Okay. Cool? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. So I got this. This is a European um, bootleg, from what I've heard. Pearl Jam hoodie. Has Pearl Jam on the sleeve. Crazy. I paid quite a bit for this. Uh, I've just never seen it before. And it was from a page who has just nothing but the craziest rap tees I've ever seen. And This is from his personal. He's had it dead stock in the bag. Jeez. He said it's from 98. I just, the graphic on the front, it picks it up. Just so epic. That's a, a Euro boot? Yeah, from what he told me. And I have seen like two other people with it and they said the same thing. Euro boots, man. I sometimes I like Euro boots better than like the ones we have here in the States. Like that. I feel like they just go like um I don't know if you've seen like the the DiCaprio like Euro bootleg, like some of these bootleg styles, like I don't know, they just had like their mindset a lot further, I guess, in design. No, you're right. You're hundred percent right. Next one, super, super dope. Brand new champion, Sean Kemp, reversible nice. jersey. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's 
got the green on the inside. I love this color jersey that they rocked with that red on it, that deep red. Yeah. I'm still looking for a Gary Payton one in the same style, but they're just going up and up in value. They are. It's hard to find, man. Some of the champion jerseys. I used to have a bunch, and then we did a we did like a pop up two years ago, and I <laughs> sold like now I regret it. Like some of the, and I'm a 52, so like 48 is weird. It's 48 length is my favorite, but then 52 like width is width. Like what I need, and yeah. so. A lot of those 52s are hard to come by now, and uh, I'm on the uh, – just for my favorite players, man, I just want that, like someone like Rodman, a few other people. Like, that's that's the goal. For sure. This next one, talk about a mission to find this piece. So I first saw it posted <clears throat> by 1980-something. He posted a raffle for it. I bought five slots out of 25. I had to have it, and I lost. The person yeah. that won the raffle, I DM'd them and said, hey, man, if you ever want to sell that jacket – please hit me up. So he hit me up probably about a month ago and he's like, Hey, I'm ready to let it go. Do you still want it? And I was so, so happy. So it's the PlayStation jacket. Oh. The quality on this is so high. The insides like this super nice, like it feels like it's from oh, the masters. Good. Like, like yeah. you're on the masters. Wait till you see this back here. I don't know if you've seen this video game, but I grew up on this game. Yeah. Like, Moto. Yeah. You know? Jet Moto. Me and my brother put hours into this game, just racing, and he would do like this grapple thing to get around the buoy to get a little faster, and just the nostalgia with this jacket is crazy. I'm so happy. This is from Rocket City Vintage. He actually has, he does YouTube too, um, so check him out, guys. He's he blessed me with this one. I would have probably paid like 300. He gave it to me, I think, for 150. Yeah, that's a lot. And that's quality, man. Like those leather, like Barclays, that Letterman, you know, style jackets, they hold up to. Uh, uh, they really do. We'll keep it on the jackets. I'll show a couple more uh, vintage jackets. This is my UW nutmeg. Crazy quality. Nice. Dope little husky on the background, in the back. And yeah, like these 90s jackets, it's just. It hits so hard, like, when you wear them out. Even when I see, like, older 40, 50, 60-year-old guys wearing these Sonics jackets, yeah. I'm like, I want to buy it off their back every time, but they never want to sell it. Have you, have you had a successful buy-off-the-back purchase before? Zero. Yeah. I'm, like, Same. 0 for 5. I don't know the pitch. If anyone knows, because, like, I, I've i tried one, which was, like, the fail. The first time I did it, I was like, hey, man, I love your t-shirt. Can I buy it off? It's, like, worst <laughs> pitch. Like, and I, I'm in sales, man, so, like, it's the worst pitch I can do. And I was like, all right, let me let me try it. So I started working different things and uh, trying to give sob stories, but it didn't, it didn't work out. But Well, I think the tough thing is, it's like when you approach them to buy it, they're caught off guard like, wait, why? Is this shirt worth something? Like, it's hard to approach them, not be super excited, like overwhelmed. But one guy was wearing a wrap tee at my work because I work at Adidas and I see a bunch yeah. of people come in because I work at the mall. Dude was wearing like a juvenile wrap tee. Yeah. So it's like uh, the old people from that rap group. And I was like, hey, man, I really love your shirt. Would you ever sell that? It's like, oh, why would, why would you want to buy this? And then he pulls out his phone. And he's literally, like, looking up. I can tell. He's just looking up eBay sales or something. He's wondering what he has. He didn't know. Yeah. So it is, it is hard to approach. Next three pieces, I'm just going to show, like, my Sonics jackets. Crazy details on these. I love all these, like Pro Player and Apex right. and Starter and Nutmeg. They just do a really good job. Does it get cold enough over there for you to be able to wear those jackets? Or? Hell yeah. It's cold <laughs> like eight months out of the year. It's like rainy. Is it true? Like I've always wondered, is it true in Washington that like what they say, like it's always kind of rainy and stuff? Or Yeah. And, yeah, even in the summer, like one day will be 80. Next day is 60 in rain. Like, there's yeah. no, like, set stage where, hey, it's August, we're, we're set for sun. Like, no, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Another Sonics piece. Nice. Is that an Apex? Uh, yep, Apex one. Like, you can always tell their design with their jackets and stuff. Definitely. And the, the starter ones are dope. They do a really good job. This one's the last one I have. It's a pro player. I really like this one because... Uh, the sleeve hit is the space needle. Oh, wow. So super good detail on that one. And then the back hit. 
so yeah i'm always looking for sonic stuff if you guys have sonic's pieces i don't really like the t-shirts as much but I'm, i am looking for more of the jackets okay or jerseys and dang that's almost everything i have a couple more things and man you guys seen it all that's sick man let's see here all right, these next two, super, super dope. I don't buy too many crew necks. And I don't see too many crew necks on the market. Yeah. This one I had to swoop. It's a 1987 Wizard of Oz Space wow. Needle parody. So if you see in the background, it's actually Seattle Space Needle right there. That's crazy. So it's a size medium. I wish it was my size or we'd get a wooden hanger, but had to keep this one. I got it for 20 bucks. 20 There's bucks. no place like home on the bottom, too. That's the yep. that. No doubt. No doubt. So this next one is super, super dope. Almost has I don't know, like rap tea vibes, I guess. Not, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's just like comic relief on the front. Yeah. But this back kit is just beautiful. So well done. Oh, wow. So it's got um, Robin Williams. It's got Billy Crystal, Robin Williams, and then uh, Whoopi. Damn, man, with Robin Williams passing, like, yeah. this one becomes just something else. Super sick. I've and been offered, like, the... 150 bucks for this, and I just can't sell it. Oh, for real. And that's, like, the... Uh... I feel like people uh, kind of sleep on some of those like stand-up comic pieces. Like I've always been interested. I, I mean, I love stand-up comedy. There's amazing, you know, people and like like the. Uh, I've always been curious if there's like Eddie Murphy Roth, you know, promos. Or, oh like, man, you know, some of those, you know, classic co- Richard Pryor, like you know, some of those classics. I've always been curious if there's like any promotion items for them. So I uh, have seen a couple of like the stand-up comedies, but they're not like crazy graphics. They're really simple, just like yeah. Stand-up comedy, Def Jam, 98, yeah. on the side. Uh, I would love to see a raw one when he's wearing the all-red outfit. Yeah. I would pay some bucks for that one. <clears throat> all right, let's grab this pile. Okay. So I got a mix of uh, some, like, Kiss tees in here and some sports stuff. Double of Kiss tee. I, I, my goal was to, and Kiss shirts is to have the best collection in my state. I think I might be there. I don't know anybody else that has as many Kiss pieces as I do. So um, Ken Griffey being my favorite player, I have a bunch of like memorabilia for him. The shirt was super hard for me to find. I finally tracked it down. Wow. It's his father and him on yeah. there. I think this is 1988. So pretty close to his rookie season. Uh, super dope piece. Oh, really? I actually, I have, um, my dad got me a Ken Griffey jersey when he's on the Reds. It's autographed. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, super dope one there. And then this one isn't that old, but man, I've been offered some pretty good cash for this. I just can't sell it because I just love that cast, man. Yeah. It's like a 2003 Seinfeld T. But just having these, these guys on one shirt, so dope. You don't see it too often, you know, the whole entire cast. Usually it's like trying to promote one of them. So to see that, yeah, yeah. that was so sick. That's a that's for sure something I need in the collection. I, I would hold on to that if I were you. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if it's 2003 or 93. I don't care. Yeah. Like, that one is just so dope. Sure. Awesome, man. And uh, does that kind of wrap things up there? Yeah, I mean, I have like a couple more things, but I definitely pulled out. <laughs> a lot of stuff to show you guys i've never done this before so super dope to kind of actually open my eyes on how many pieces i had i'm just like yeah. wow came yeah. a long way already dude and it's pretty impressive and i was uh talking with a couple of people yesterday and like first of all like uh there's a difference and uh, i wanted to state that like you know like you coming in like only like you know a year or so ago and the passion that i see you know for t-shirts you know with you man like it's something i, I truly respect and it's really cool to see and it's fun talking you know um just conversating and seeing somebody that's really into promo tees too but uh just overall man i it, i love your collection i think it's awesome man keep going uh Appreciate just, amazing, that. just amazing stuff dude for real <laughs> and, uh, 
Uh, can't wait to see what else you get. We might have to do a part three sometime here soon to keep it going, dude. Yeah, I literally, I think I have like 55 pieces coming in the mail. I'm literally <laughs> buying daily. So, yeah, I'm always just looking to stack up and get a new collection, always just recycling and supporting everybody else. There we go, man. We'll keep it going. Yeah. Um, again, appreciate you for coming on. Uh, sure. Where can they follow you at? Where can they shop? We'll do it one more time for you. Yeah. Uh, Instagram is going to be the main source. Uh, it's beyond, just like how it sounds, dot cured. Um, and then my Depop links on there. I do post on there every once in a while, but most of the time, if you see something on my page, you can shoot me a DM. I do story sales every weekend. And then I try to do at least one raffle a day. Sometimes I, I'm a little busy, but usually three to four raffles a week and story sales on the weekend. So stay tuned. Yeah, man. Appreciate you for coming on. Uh, stay safe, man. Keep buying t-shirts and uh, definitely appreciate you. For sure. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me on. All right, you guys, I want to thank Brandon again for coming on. I definitely appreciate him taking the time uh, to show off his collection. And man, what a collection. This guy, I mean, as you guys see the length of video, he just has amazing bangers, amazing t-shirts, but also just the love for promo tees. You know, we share that love. The, like he said, the little subtle hits on some of these t-shirts. It's just really cool to talk with somebody who really is in a promo tee. So man, shout out to Brandon. Um, if, like I said, if you guys go give him a follow, beyond.cured on Instagram. He does raffles. He, you know, of course, sells as well. So go check him out. And uh, that's going to do it for this two-part series um, of his collection. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And what was your guys' favorite piece from his collection? And what was your favorite piece from this part of the collection? Leave it in the comments below. Again, I want to thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Rise Again Vintage. And you can follow anything Rise Again Media related at Rise Again Create. And that's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And man, just thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.